protesters were told three times over loudspeaker that they needed to move. And what happened was it grew increasingly unruly. There were projectiles being thrown at officers. Frozen water bottles were being thrown at officers. And the officers had no other choice than in that moment um, to act and make sure that they were safe and that the perimeter was pushed back. Because as we all know, a church was burning in that very area the night before. Um, so the appropriate so it wasn't, it action wasn't was taken. It was taken. It was burning the night before, which which would which um, enforced the decision to move the perimeter on each side by a block, so that church would no longer be in harm's way by the rioters. But it's absolutely uncalled for to throw bricks. Absolutely uncalled for to throw water bottles that are frozen at police don't officers. You, don't you agree, Kaylee, that the vast majority of those protesters were doing so peacefully, and that many of them did not hear those warnings and were simply just pushed out of the way, just forced out, tumbled out of the way by their fellow Americans, police officers. Uh, you sent in uh, members of the military uh, to, to deal with this. Let me know that the National Guard was utilized across Washington, D.C. Um, the military was not. There is a distinction, and I would say that it is uncalled for to throw bricks at officers, uncalled for to throw frozen water bottles at officers. And they also had received intelligence that there were calls for violence against police officers, and they found caches of glass bottles, baseball bats, and metal poles hidden along the streets. When an officer is at risk, they have the right to defend themselves. They did so peaceably. Uh, no one had, there were no fatalities, no severe injuries. Um, you do it again. To protect the lives of officers, they have a right to defend and to protect themselves. Yes. And, you know, I've watched a lot of your coverage. I've watched a lot of right the nation's right. coverage. And let's go through some of the things that happen when officers don't defend and protect themselves. In St. Louis, four police officers were shot. In Las Vegas, an officer was shot in the head and is on life support. In New York, a cop was beat up by people. In Providence, four to five police officers and state troopers were injured. And in Ashbury Park, New Jersey, a police officer was injured. Police officers are out on the front lines. They're defending and protecting you as you come into this building each and every day. And we owe them honor, we owe them respect. And when they are under attack, they have the ability to defend themselves.